Warning, this podcast may contain explicit content. Parental approval advised. Shout out to the number one newspaper in our server, The Daily Deviate. Please visit their new website at dailydeviate.com. That's dailydeviate.com. So we got another one. We got another episode here. Um, This one is an alliance. I'm always excited to interview alliance. So if you are an alliance, please visit speedlimitpodcast.com. And there's a sign up page in there, and don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to sign up, please. I need. I need you. Come on, do it, so you can talk to me. Um, okay. Anyway, it's an alliance, and he is from. He, okay, there's two things, right? He's uh, he's from Firewater Syndicate, and Sons of Arthur. So he has two guilds, uh, separate characters. Um, his mage is in Firewater Syndicate, and his paladin is from Sons of Arathor. But I think he's mainly known um, in his paladin. So that's one. That's one what I'm gonna introduce. And his uh, mage's name is Servius. So um, please welcome. He's a rep paladin, Von Hagen. It says you give a poor man. A fish and you feed him for a day. You teach him to f- to fish. You give him you give him a, a... Hello. Hey. <coughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Sorry about the wait. No worries, you had to grab a beer. Yeah, and um, actually my stomach was starting hurting, so I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> had McDonald's for uh, supper. Some weird rare occasion that we have some uh, some nights. I got you. Want to test some levels here? Sure thing. Let's see. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, sounds okay and everything. Yeah. How how do I sound on your end? Yeah, you sound great on my end. Cool. Cool. So let me check this one second here. I'm trying to see your info that you had. Yeah, it so, gave you a little bit to go by. Yeah, so you're a rep paladin. Rep paladin. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Been around since uh, day one? Uh, I think it was week one. I don't know if it was day one. Mm-hmm. Maybe... I, I forget exactly when. I think I started like the beginning of September, like September first ish, give or take. So I think that was just a little bit after it started. You know, maybe okay. a week or so. Um, yeah, I started with my Brad Paladin anyway, mm-hmm. um, and I have since gotten a mage that I play probably a bit more often. I raid with both, you know. Mm-hmm. And you are known as, um, is it Servius or Von Hagen? Uh, guess it depends on who you ask probably more like Servius because I was uh I was Servius when I was GM of strength and mortality okay it's that's it's, a strength is on a uh, guild uh, another guild and mortality is uh, that's two separate guilds right no so sorry strength <laughs> there, there is a horde guild named strength okay uh, yeah I was com- okay I'm confused all right um but uh no the our guild was called strength and immortality Mm-hmm. And I was uh, fortunate enough to be asked to be GM for a while. Cool. And how many members did you guys have? Um, I don't know if I had ever did a full count. I mean, we had it was a really old guild. It was it was like a, a a day one or like a week one guild. You know, it was it was pretty early, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I was certainly wasn't GM that entire time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but. Uh, so there was a lot of like whenever you check the members of people that were offline, there was a ton of people. Mm-hmm, sure. Uh, a couple times I had to go through and just kick a bunch of people that you know were obviously clearly never coming back because like. And I think what that really taught me or showed me was that classic just had a lot of people that stopped playing. Mm-hmm. Did this include your? Um, do you have? Did you have real fr- uh, life friends that played with you? And. Um, no, not 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 at the beginning anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I joined this server. 
Uh, I joined Deviate Delight because I didn't see any other PvP RP servers. I just didn't use the other tab. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I would have probably joined Crabulous. Crabulous, yeah. When I was, but anyway, so yeah, no. When I joined, it was just me. Um, my younger brother, who also plays on this server, has since joined. Uh, he plays a Holy Paladin. Cool, cool. And yeah, when I when I started playing this game, we uh, with a couple of real friends of mine, we chose Grabulus, and I think they were like level ten. We were like level ten, and we had so much issue logging in in that uh, mm. first couple of weeks. So we we're like, you know, it, it's nice to be around these all these people that. There's a lot of people. There's a, there's a lot of potential community. It's going to happen later on. But is it worth waiting here 45 minutes, an hour, when we have so much limited time on playing? So oh, that we, sounds awful. So we decided to you know, create characters in, um, here in DV Delight. And after that, we just forgot about Grabulous and leveled um, our characters until um, all of us got went level to 60 and you know um within this reality it's my friends have being picked up uh one uh, one by one uh to deal with their real life stuff and uh quit uh playing that's unfortunate so, so and yeah and we we even created a guild and stuff like that and you know it I mean, one one uh, one of my friends logs in once in a while to kind of check things out to see you know what's going on. But other than that, he's not really a, a full on. Or anything. Yeah, it's not a full on. Uh, um, not even a casual ra- raider or anything like that. He just logs in. So. That's it's interesting, like that, you know. Um, but one of the things that I, uh, that I really like about it is the friends that I made uh, here. You know, I think the community is just great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> it's all about the community for me now. Um, I never realized that until uh, when this game came out, and even when I played vanilla, I d- didn't even realize that it was it was about the community for me. Like, it, I was in it, I was included in it, I was doing the whole thing with the with the community stuff, but I just didn't realize in the back of my head it was like, oh, this for me, this game is about this. Like that never occurred to me whatsoever. And after a few, um, a few times of um, you know researching what's gonna be happening in uh, classic before it came out, because I was pretty excited with it. You know, some some mm. some guy created this video, and um, something like you know the pros of coming back to classic and what people are gonna look for. So I watched that a little bit. So I'm like, oh yeah, you know, reminiscing. And my leveling with friends, and you know all all the auction house and the people that sure. that um, just there's, there's a bunch of all uh, combination in it that I really missed. And then finally, he said that well, this is gonna be like one of the reasons why people are gonna come back is the community, and one hundred percent, yeah. And part of part of it is that um, there's a lot of um, hold on. Somebody's trying to force me to unlock this. You on a rogue right now? Yeah, I should log out. Hold on, I log out. Sorry. <laughs> so, so where was I? Um, community. We're just talking about the sense of community. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So community, right? So he was talking about you know how how uh, in retail there's like this huge population and um, combined servers. If you see one person at you know today, you might not see them see them again the next day. You know they're just yeah. different people. And yeah, cla- retail kind of confuses and frightens me. Yeah, and classic. You know you, you you see them like on auction house like the next day or the next minute, and you like wave each other. And you're like, oh, that's that's you. And you run into dungeons and you know uh, make friends and you know. It's like even I feel like even if you don't know somebody, I, at least for me, I feel like I have a sense of who people are. Just because you you see the same names all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have that weird asterisk uh, um, pl- uh, name on it that makes it a long a title that does include their server names. You you just see their full uh, name and then uh, maybe little like a title and the guild name if if you had that on. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's been weird. It's been weird playing classic for me. This is my this is my uh, longest uh, subscription of playing like any expansion out there. I've been playing this. Yeah, for... I, uh... go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Yeah, I've been playing this for uh, over a year now since it came out. So yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I intended to get into it as much as I did when I started playing. I just kind of played it, started playing for the nostalgia because mm-hmm. uh, uh, I played. Uh, you know, vanilla back in the day. Um, and uh, I don't know, I really, really kind of took to it more. I feel like, I feel like, you know, uh, this is probably not news to anybody, but I feel like we're all better at it now. Um, we're all uh, a bit more educated about the ins and outs of our classes and the ins and outs of how to play the game more effectively. Because I feel like I didn't have a clue back 15 years ago. For sure. And when you got um, promoted to the guild of master of strength and immortality did you have a lot of experience then um in terms of you talked about you know uh, the loot and um how like, being prepared how prepared were you when you accepted that position well so i had been an officer for a little bit um i had previously been the gm of a much 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 smaller not a raiding guild but a, like an rp guild uh beforehand so i had had a little bit of experience being a gm <laughs> Um, I wasn't like a GM back in uh, retail while or anything like that. Um, and I certainly didn't start playing intending to be a GM, right? But mm-hmm. um, So I, I, I don't know how to, how this to answer that question. I feel like uh, I had the right attitude and I feel like I was up to the challenge. But um, it, it still kind of was a surprise that I was at, to me that I was asked by the previous uh, GM when he asked me to take over. Sure. <laughs> and you had pretty good reputation beforehand when um, you got asked that. I suppose so. I must have. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I, I think the, mo- the most important thing to me as a GM wasn't doing everything myself. It was kind of, it was, my leadership style is forming a, a solid team, right? So, mm-hmm. um, you know, no, nobody does anything on their own, in my opinion, um, without an effective team behind them and or sure. in front of them and, you know, or however you want to put it. Um, so that's, I, I think I was just fortunate enough to have a lot of talent in the people that were around me that I was able to. Uh, organize, you know, for sure. Yeah, that's being a GM alone um, could have a lot of uh, weight behind it in terms of uh, your your job, what you do. And mm-hmm. if if you just did that on your own, it's it's kind of crazy to me. Like how could like how people like does that? Sometimes they would just do it on their own without even like, some- we don't help without even help. Yeah, and, and some people, I mean, I mean, not without help, but I, some some people I think have a had a much more solid, like a natural fit to be a GM or to be a leader, right? And mm-hmm. for me, it was just kind of learning as I went along and trying to make the best of things. And um, frankly, the the guild when I inherited it wasn't in the best of shape. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a risk of it kind of not working out super well. It was kind of the early days of Blackwing Lair, um, and uh, yeah, there was a real chance of it kind of falling apart and i'm really proud of the fact that we were able to keep it afloat mm-hmm, cool and, and it's, in, it's it is <laughs> for a while it did it, say I, I passed it along to a very a very um talented officer uh named Arathil, um who became gm after me and then we the best of our efforts i stayed on as an officer right and the best of our efforts we just couldn't keep it afloat after aq came out but we had a good run for sure for sure and how did you become um like a small RP uh, GM and converting to your uh, converting to a full rating guild. Uh, well, so the the guild that I was GM for first was called uh, the Order of the Silver Hand, which was a very uh, paladin centric guild. Mm-hmm. Um, although we accepted all classes and types, even warlocks. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, the name certainly attracted pal. That's why that's why I joined it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't found it or anything. I just joined it because it sounded really cool, and I figured it'd be a cool guild to level with because mm-hmm. it's a really cool sounding guild tag. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I had when I hit sixty with uh, Von Hagen, my paladin, mm-hmm. I um, I started raiding basically as soon as I was able to um, with some pugs at first. By I think I want to say a guy by the name of Mouse was running pugs at the time or something. I don't really remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, a, it was a long time ago, right? Sure. Um, but 
I had basically started trying to raid as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And I fell into raiding with the group of people um, that included some people from SNI uh, pretty early on. So mm -hmm. I was, I was raiding with, I'd been raiding with them for a while. And so, um, how did that? How did the uh, order of the silver hand took that when, when you left? On the, how how did you break it down to them when you uh, created it or joined another guild such as well, strength and mortality? Um, it 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 was so there was some the the strength in, um, not to make a pun of it, but the strength <laughs> in the order of the silver hand I think was that um, we were kind of asked to be. Uh, a part of a, a larger coalition of role-playing guilds. Mm -hmm. That was really cool at the time. There was a little about it in the newspaper. I thought it was pretty neat. Sure thing, yeah. Uh, but uh, so it was just a couple of guilds that kind of got together, and we we essentially signed this agreement that said we were going to pool our resources together because no no individual guild was strong enough to raid, but we could together form a raid team, mm -hmm. which had its pluses and minuses eventually, but uh, at first it was a good way for us to kind of get together and form a raid team. Um, so that worked out pretty well for a while, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, but it, I was like the only 60 for a long time in the order of the silver hand. It was a really small guild. Like it was not a, not a big deal by any means, um, but it was I, still pretty cool to us. Um, but after a while, it just kind of became obvious that I wasn't, uh, whether it's through a fault of my own, I'm not, maybe I could have done more to establish it, but it just didn't really take off. So I just kind of felt it was time. And I kind of, uh, we had, there was an officer of mine that left. And as soon as he was leaving, I just kind of realized that it wasn't going to go anywhere. And I kind of took that as an opportunity to step down myself. And um, it still exists. There's like a character or two with, uh, in the guild. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was going to ask that if it does. <clears throat> and do you still talk to them? At all, uh, any members um, there? Well, yeah, the, the the officer that had stepped down that kind of made me realize that nothing was going to happen about it. Um, his name is Elector. He's a he's a very skilled paladin. Mm -hmm. uh, he um, he was in strength and mortality, um, and he actually served as an officer for a time there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he um, joined Firewater Syndicate, which is where a lot of uh, strength and mortality people went. Uh, after the guild disbanded, sure. So sure. I still, and he's right now. So I still raid with him. Mm -hmm. Now um, you mentioned the, you know, making friendships and throughout the uh, community. And um, did you are you still uh, running dungeons or interacting with um, the friendships that you made with the past guilds? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and you know the the other, I guess I should. I didn't really like describe this, but um, mm -hmm. so currently like. Uh, at one point, I switched my characters around, um, and so I started raiding with my paladin with a, a guild called uh, Sons of Erethor, mm -hmm. who are just an amazing group of people. They, um, they're very welcoming. They uh, have a great community, and they, um, uh, they, oftentimes like through alts or whatever, would partner with us in strength and mortality and kept our raids afloat and certainly gave us a lot of guidance. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, very tight with them. Uh, so I, I raided them. On my paladin, mm -hmm. and then I raid with Firewater Water Syndicate on my mage. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the the which is, I guess what you asked, but I mm -hmm. felt like it's important to describe sure, that. Sure, sure, yeah. So, Servius is is your mage, mm -hmm. right? And and he's in the Firewater Water Syndicate. Yep. And Bon Hagen is your paladin, which is Sons of Arthur. Yes. If, Very okay. proud to be with both of those guilds. I'm I, I'm fortunate to to raid fully and to be a full member of two guilds, which is um, well, yeah, how's that like uh, an opportunity. <laughs> I'm not sure everybody has that opportunity, but I'm able to make the most of it, I think. Mm -hmm. In terms of your schedule, I mean, obviously, it's working out for you. But if one guild said, let's say you're in uh, in your Van Hagen or in your Paladin, mm -hmm. and uh, the Firewater Syndicate guild knows that that's, that's you, right? There's no secrets? There's no secrets? No, secret. yeah, it's, there's no secrecy at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've, I've long said that anything I say in game can be screenshotted against me. Okay, and if you were, you know, some if you were doing something in your Sons of Arathor guild with your Van Hagen, and you know, Fire Water Syndicate guild was like, oh, we need you. Would you? Uh, what? How? Like, what would you do in that situation then? If you know, I don't know. That's to... a really tough question. Like, if yeah. I had to choose between the two, I wouldn't really. I don't know if I'd want to. I've made I've made some solid friendships in both. Um, sure. Yeah. And... 
the the ra- I'm it's uh, fortunate that the raid schedules work and fit with both guilds. So mm-hmm. um, so far that hasn't really come up. And if it did, I I don't know if I have an answer for you. Sure. Um, they're um, both great people. Understandable. You know? I mean, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but you know, it's um, I could see the the issue there. But for me. I don't know. I, I don't. I wouldn't know what to do either if I had. I was in the same guild, but or different guilds, and I think I would. Maybe it depends on what's going on. Maybe that day or whatever we're trying to do. If it's something like really important one, like maybe raiding or something like that, and um, for this, you know, in this case, they would know uh, for sure that that you're scheduled to raid on that, and they ask you to. Yeah. If they ask you, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm raiding right now, and we had this agreement, so, uh, so we we're good, we're cool. Like uh, they said, yes, and then you know that that fixes everything. But otherwise, um, if they really want, like, if you know if they wanted to be like a dick or something, you know, well, we're gonna GKQ you if you don't come right now. That kind of situation, uh, I can I can yeah. imagine. I don't see that happening, but you know, if somebody said like, hey, you, if one of if somebody said to me, "Hey, you have to choose, uh, you know, me or them," I feel like that's an ultimatum, and I, I don't yeah. respond to all ultimatums, you know. For sure, nobody. But, uh, does, yeah. but, I, but I don't. I, I'm I'm fortunate that I I think that both groups I'm with. I don't I don't really see that happening. If yeah. that makes sense. That's pretty awesome, man. <clears throat> I wish a lot of uh, uh, people guild uh, guild treated uh, players like that. You know, that's 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 awesome. More power to them. You know. Yeah. Um, and you know, like we we may I'm I'm not like maybe in necessarily the top clearing guild in the server where maybe neither guild might be the fastest to to have gotten uh, all the bosses down in AQ, but mm-hmm. um, done Cthun in both guilds. I'm really happy about that. Cool. cool. Who's the fastest right now, Firewater or Sons? Uh, the clear times for Blackwing Lair, which is the only thing I can really compare, because um, we're we've just recently downed Cthun this week and um. Uh, Firewall, right? So we had, we don't have like a clear time on either one for a full run of uh, AQ yet. Okay. Because um, it's usually been split up over two days. Mm-hmm. Um, but like for Blackwing Layer, the clear times are pretty close. Mm-hmm. They're, um, they're like maybe an hour 20 ish, the fastest time for both guilds. I see. Something like that. That's nice. Uh, so, you know, like a good, comfortable <laughs> pace. It's not like uh, we're not super hardcore about it, but um, we get things done and have a good time. Yeah, I think I think that's what it's about. It's just having a good time, especially if you're in uh, two good guilds that you know you have an option to go in other uh, class and other one. Um, what made you cho- choose uh, Red Paladin instead of you know the most common one, which is a holy? <laughs> yeah, <good question. laughs> um, and I'll say this: I, I'm I'm super fortunate to be able to still raid as a Red Paladin. Like uh, I, I have to give many thanks to Sons of Arthur for allowing me the opportunity because. Um, it's not super common to mm-hmm. fit somebody like me into a raid, uh, raid team. Um, and I feel like I try my best, and I put in some effort, but I'm still a Red Paladin, so I, I'm very appreciative of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I I didn't really... I did it out of a sense of nostalgia, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, because I had, a, I had a Paladin in vanilla... Um, named Von Hagen. I'm not super... Once I find something that works, I kind of stick with it. For sure, yeah. Um, and uh, I had a... From what I recall, I had a spec that I was uh, 31 points in ret and 20 points in holy, and I was mainly healing in raids, but at the time, I, re- I have this recollection and this memory uh, of being a decent healer mm-hmm. um, with that spec and then playing ret. Because I didn't... I only had one character back then. I didn't have two characters... Or more more than one character, you know, that I, as like I do now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I kind of had to do everything in one. Um, so anyway, so that's why I decided to go uh, paladin. And I kind of mm-hmm. told myself that I would stay right as long as possible, and fortunately, I've been able to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of similar situation. What? Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say it helps that I have a big shiny orange hammer. <laughs> nice. Oh, you do have the, one. I do have the hand of rags. Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. I'm I have jealous. To, I have to throw that out there. I have to flex that. I'm jealous because uh, my uh, I have my main is a shaman. Um, mm-hmm. and well, that's one of my like dream um weapon is the of course it's every shaman's little weapon is that, but mm-hmm. uh, it it's kind of funny I have I have this kind of the same similar situation where sometimes I would want a DPS but um it, it I just love healing so much that no not so much but uh I think I particularly got um 
in t- uh, in touch with it, uh, my healing. It it's 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 pretty awesome. Um, I think I would. I don't know though. I think I would enjoy uh, being an enhancement too. But I don't. I don't particularly see that. Um, you know, as as a real thing for me to to achieve within if we if we were gonna if we're gonna mm-hmm. do the best we can in, in raids and I don't particularly I, I don't think that my guild particularly like the, that idea of somebody being in um, like enhancement shaman. Uh, it's not the same, but it's a paladin, right? It's it's just it's not it's not the most ideal. I mean, you can do okay, but you're not you're not topping the charts or anything. Similar kind of a deal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the same exact situation. But you're lucky, I guess. Um, I mean, there's there's probably a lot of uh, guild out there that they're like, oh, what the hell, you know? You can you can be whatever you want and you come in, you know. I'm, I'm you know, I was just gonna say too. I, I've I've told the the leadership um, of Sons of Arathor that if I need to, uh, I can try to pivot and switch to being a healer full time. I don't necessarily want to, and my gear is not maybe the best for healing, but I'm. I like the people, so whatever I need to do to stay with the people. Sure. But uh, so far, I've been able to make it work, and we've been able to make that happen. So, and what um, are you guys using? Loot Council or DKP? What kind of system are you guys using? Um, so, in Sons of Arathor, they have a system of like um, uh, tiered ranks within the guild. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and so, if you're in the the max rank, you'll be able to roll on things first with other people of the similar uh, rank. So you kind of roll off, and there's no there's no DKP or anything like that. It's just a roll system, but um, okay. you have to be. Uh, it's it's essentially it, what it means is if you've been in the guild a while and you show up to raids consistently, you're in this max rank, mm. and you're able to roll on the loot. And you know most items are like it's done sensibly, right? So most most items are like, oh, if this is best for this class, if this, these people are rolling on it, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And. Do you get in a situation where you know you roll into off spec? Um, yeah, like in Black and Lair and stuff. Sometimes stuff goes to off spec. We haven't seen that much in AQ most because most people need stuff still. Mm-hmm. So um, that's probably like your opportunity to grab you know a few gear for holy in case you they need you as a holy or something like I that. I try to keep that in mind. Yeah, like I, I I never try to let something that I could use for healing go to waste. Um, mm-hmm. So, but I mean, I certainly have room to to get more gear. I, I feel like I have better gear now for healing than I did back in vanilla when I was healing most of the time. Sure, yeah. Just because we know more about the game now. We know more about how plus healing is more effective than just stacking into sure. mana per five or whatever. Cool, man. And <clears throat> how like, informative are you guys, um, you know, when it comes to the loot? Like, do you guys do research and get grab the BIS and um, and distribute that? To the players that who needs it for their BIS, or you just roll off onto, um, you just do whatever. Um, it's still it's still kind of done by the tiered system with Sons of Arathor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's not. I wouldn't say it's super heavily policed. Mm-hmm. There's just a very chill atmosphere. But the the good thing about that group is the the majority of players have been playing um, WoW uh, in its classic version through a couple private servers, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, a lot of people have have experience in multiple different classes and stuff like that. So, for the most part, people kind of just get a general feel for, hey, this is something I need, this is something I don't need, let me respect other people and not roll in it. Sure, yeah, sure. Um, and then, to yeah. answer the question from a different perspective, in Firewater Syndicate, we use a blind bid DKP system, mm-hmm. which uh, is somewhat new to me. That's the first time I've used a DKP system, mm-hmm. um, but I, I kind of like it. It kind of works out. Mm-hmm. What's the blind uh, part? Uh, can you explain that further? Sure. Um, so uh, an item drops, um, and it, the eligible people that can roll on the item, and it, it, instead of a tiered system where like there, there's no differentiation between if you just join the guild uh, for that raid, uh, or are just even not even a member of the guild uh, and are just coming along, you can still earn DKP mm-hmm. for attending. Mm-hmm. Um, but the blind part is basically like uh, you just you send your bid to the person who's doing the loot for the evening. Uh, you send the amount of DKP, like let's say. Uh, I want to spend. Th- I, I'm going to wager three points mm-hmm. of DKP on an item, right? So I just whisper three to the person who's doing the loot, and then they see who has wagered the most. And if there's a tie, there's a roll off. Mm-hmm. I see. That's interesting. I've never heard that one before, mm-hmm. or maybe I yeah, have. it's it's kind of a it's <laughs> kind of an in- 
introduces a bit of gambling to it because you and and there's maybe some back channel discussions going on with people of your class that are like, hey, is anybody <clears throat> else bidding on this? That kind of thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of gambling, um, I interviewed um, the on the lines. There's names PP Storm. Mm -hmm. he, he likes to gamble in Africa. Tingles is role game or something, right? <laughs> yeah, and so they you, right? Is there, <clears throat> am I misremembering that? Yeah, McTingles. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, people from McTingles. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> it's kind of hilarious, like how he likes to do that once in a while and go to Iron Forge and spam gamble, and uh, you know, I wish I, I, I wish I could see that side of Alliance where I, you know, I tried doing uh, creating another account there. And uh, promoting my podcast, but it's such a different uh, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I think I'd have to level one to sixty to be able to, you know, gather all the not even all, but like some information that I need, so I get the inkling of what it's like to be in an alliance and in our server. Yeah, it's kind of hard. It'd be, it'd be. I'm sure it'd be similarly hard for me to like jump on Horde if I had another account and try to get a feel for the the community on Horde side. Yeah, yep. I've got I've got some friends that. Um, that have characters on both and uh so i kind of get a sense of things but mm -hmm. it's nothing like experiencing yourself definitely and um do you still rp also you know i wish i rp'd more mm -hmm. um to be honest um what, what do you think so, of rp well i think <laughs> i won't say that i'm very good at it mm -hmm. you know like my rp is essentially going to a tavern and hanging out with friends and making new friends that kind of a thing mm -hmm. um and what what typically happens now is I'll hang out with friends of mine and we just chat over Discord so we're not doing much RPing in-game, even though we're fully capable of RPing in-game, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't do too much RPing, although I will say that uh, Keldrick's Bar was open last night, apparently, and mm -hmm. I was just busy doing stuff outside of WoW, so I couldn't join. But I was very happy to hear that. Yeah, I have not been in there. Um, you know, I've been invited a few times, but feel bad not being in there on Saturday night. It's kind of hard for me to uh, to hop in uh, during Saturday nights. It's not. It's my schedule to, to not to not. It's not my schedule to play per se, but <clears throat> I'd still like to check that out sometime. You know, just go in there and have fun and chat with people. If you're ever able to make it, it's on a night they're open. I, I don't know if it's every Saturday now, but mm -hmm. um, it's it, it's quite fun. Uh, and for the most part, people are well behaved. Yeah, for sure. And the yeah, the reason why I brought the RP thing is, um, I think the reason why you got this uh, whole message about you being in a podcast because of Bonsi and uh, Alengui, because I asked both of them for a favor if they knew anybody that would want mm. to to participate in this. Um, I'm not sure if this is just a uh, coincidence if you just signed up with you know after I asked them. Or no, uh, uh, real big bone message me. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And asked if I'd be interested, so I said sure. Yeah. So shout out to her, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... And then, uh, and then I was talking to Dominatrix about it too, and she said uh, she mm -hmm. kind of filled me in a bit too on the podcast. Cool. Yeah. I I don't think I've had Dominix Dominix tricks in here yet. <laughs> Dominatrix. Dominic Tricks. Dominic tricks. Is it? How do you pronounce <laughs> that? I always Dominic fuck it up. Uh, yeah, the editor of the paper, uh, mm -hmm. one of the editors of the paper. Yeah, um, she's great. We hang out all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, she's like uh, my uh, horde friend because she come kind of mostly comes from a horde background, you know. For sure, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. I'm uh, when I met uh, Bonsi and Alingui and Sharp Tusk. Actually, I was in my my speed limit was in Cargath. I was just standing there and minding my own business and Sharp Tusk goes like, hey, you want to follow us? I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> nice. From there, we went we went all the way to Iron Forge and, uh, you know, and on top of the hill there, there's a uh, little oh, camp. Top of the, on top of the mountain, uh, yep. top of Iron Forge. Yeah, that's a really cool place to go. Yeah, and, you know, they get to hear uh, Lingui's little story and um, did some, did a couple of things and uh, after that, you know, say our goodbyes and it was that was awesome. It was pretty good. Well, like he's, he, he's such a treasure to the server. I mean, it's characters like that. I think that really, uh, mm -hmm. they really server some vibrancy. You know, he's he's always have he has he always has a story to tell. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and you know, I'm gonna be chatting with him soon too. And I asked 
so, uh, I asked a few people today. You're the only one that can, that could do it. So uh, thank you for doing this, man. I'm worked out on my end, so no problem. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> you played in vanilla, right? I, it. I did. Yeah. Um, what server did you play on? I played on. Um, oh, I'm blanking on the name now. Um, mm-hmm. Give me a second. I don't know why I can't think of it right now. Uh, I can tell you the guild I was in. Um, I think. Was it? it was Crusade. That's is what it, it was. Is it Argent Dawn? Oh, it was the Scarlet Crusade. It was a. It was okay. a role playing server. Mm-hmm. Um, it was when I when I joined. It was before PvP RP servers that had existed. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was actually really upset when they came out because I really wished that I had been on a PvP RP server. Sure. Yeah. Because I, I just like the dynamic, you know. Whereas it would always it would always frustrate me because I'd always be out there in the world and I would see people and I couldn't really interact with them because mm-hmm. uh, there were no unless they were PvP flagged, you know. For sure. Um, the reason why I ask is I haven't in, interviewed anybody from my old server, Argent Dawn. Mm-hmm. It was a full R, it was a full RP uh, server also, and that's my when I played vanilla. That's what where, always, where everything started. It'd be so cool to run into somebody that I used to play with, but I haven't either. I haven't run into any. I don't think I've even run into anybody mm-hmm. from the server, let alone somebody I. For sure, and the thing is, I, I, I mean, I'm not as excited as much anymore because they probably changed. You know, I probably won't remember a lot of things that uh, we did, uh, uh, except maybe the GM there. If mm-hmm. if you know if by any chance that he played here or in and be like you know interacted with them we could you know um catch up and you know what's the what reminisce about the thing that we did before and that maybe 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 you know um reconnect again or something but i couldn't see myself reconnecting with somebody we just you know that i just maybe remember the name or something someone like we did a couple of things here and there but I don't yeah. particularly remember a lot of people that I just remember my guild and uh, the GM and um, since my fr- my real also my most all my real friends played uh, in vanilla you know I would I would th- those are the people that I, I talk to all the time you know I think it kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier about the sense of community and how much how different it is now versus then because. Um, I feel like I've just networked more and I've, I have way more friendships now than I did back when I was more insular and talking just to guildies back in uh, vanilla days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Maybe I just, maybe my memory's not that good about what happened that, that long ago, but it just seems like, um, th- uh, you know, you know what, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It seems exactly. like I, like I need more people now, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. <clears throat> now, um, in your, both of you guild, do you sense or do you uh get that when you're raiding in AQ 40 do you get at least a little bit of um challenge at all Oh it's certainly challenging um we it it took us in both guilds it took us a little bit to clear uh Cthun. Mm-hmm. We still haven't gone, I still haven't gone 9 of 9 you know done a Visitus or Oro mm-hmm. um in either although we made some good attempts mm-hmm. um I think I really enjoyed learning the Twin Amps fight um, from two perspectives, you know, as melee and as a caster. Uh, sure, I really, yeah. really enjoyed that. Um, and and I, I like it especially because I can do pretty well in it as a fire mage. Fire mages are amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, yeah, I definitely, I really do enjoy that, that um, the difficulty uh, of it being new content. Uh, and, and I hope that I have a similar appreciation and enjoyment and I hope Nax goes well, you know? Yeah, for sure. And, when you guys, when you did BWL uh, the first time, the first few weeks, was it kind of the same challenging yeah. as I mean, AQ40? Yeah, yeah, it was very similar. Um, you know, and in in in, in vanilla, I had, I remember going through and doing uh, some NAX. I remember doing some AQ. I remember doing Black and Lear, of course. Hmm. Um, but it was also old, and I'd stopped playing WoW a couple times. And I, the last I played it was in Wrath. So you know, I. It's not like I remembered everything. For sure, it seems like a lot. Um, of... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, go ahead. It seems like a lot of uh, you know, people, uh, counting uh, some of my friends that quit, and wrath. Uh, you mind me asking why uh, you stopped wrath? Um, 
I, it was more like real life reasons, I guess. I don't know. I just wanted to focus on other things for a okay. bit than, okay. than what. But, so the, um, yeah, the different situation, so. and uh, most of my friends uh, didn't like particularly like the talent system the cataclysm um, brought out right after the pat like the patch before uh they released cataclysm well my friend was like a really really, really hardcore um raider and he found out about the um the changes with the talent points the talent trees it was gone he just w- w- quit that day never logged on I, ever again. I can understand that i don't i don't like i've i've tried to get on retail a bit and i just like i said earlier kind of confuses and frightens me i just don't get it and I don't know. I I I like what we have going on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And going back to your uh, the rating um, progress that you guys have um, right now, you said that you're not you're not nine nine clear of AK forty, but working on it. And working. How close were you um, clearing that? Uh, any close at all? Well, um, Visitus is going to be interesting in in both guilds. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, mm-hmm. We'll just have to kind of hit it and see. We haven't haven't really tried it. Um, oh, you haven't much. tried it. We've okay. made it. T- yeah, we've just been focusing on uh, Cthune, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, you know, we got Cthune down what two weeks ago in um, Sons of Arathor. Um mm-hmm. But uh, we'd still focus on that and, and Oro. Mm-hmm. Oro is the next turtle to clear, um, and that's a that's a tough fight. I got We got to figure that one out. We're, I'm kind of working with the other leadership. Or um, well, the leadership and Firewater Syndicate about uh, our strat mm-hmm. for Oro. We got to nail that down for sure. And how do you guys? How does Pally deal with or um, any um, uh, cleansing with the poison without that that totem uh, instant po- uh, cleanse for like a five group? How do you guys deal with that? Well, so uh, it, uh, I'm I'm actually not sure what my role is going to be, but I, I have a feeling that my role is uh, on on Visitus is going to be. Um, cleansing as opposed to trying to get in there in dps mm-hmm. um so that's probably going to be my primary job i would assume but we ha- i haven't we haven't attempted that to nail that down i guess I see. um i mean like in, I'm not, I'm, yeah it, i'm not the expert i, I mean like in general but, um if you were in bwl with um uh what's the dog's name the second to the last boss uh chromagus chromagus yeah like, he does this uh poison thing and disease mm-hmm. Oh, um, are you a part of cleansing that? I mean, are you forced to do that since there's not a lot of option to, 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 uh, to, to no, choose I'm from? No, I'm still, I'm still able to DPS and everything. But I, you know, you can pallet DPS is interesting in that you're not using, you're not spending every global, global cooldown doing something, whereas in a lot of classes you are, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so you you can you can use a couple of global cooldowns in the middle of your DPS uh, cleansing. So. Mm-hmm. Um, they're frankly if i was to do nothing uh, sons of Arthur are super capable people they can they could they could do it without me helping out much but i do help out with cleansing and stuff in that particular fight uh you know you could basically like i've got a mouse over macro for cleansing that i'm able to easily clear uh, people around me mm-hmm. so i just try to keep the melee for the most part cleansed and some days i'm lazier than others i will admit but <laughs> sure, i yeah. try to help out yeah cool man um <laughs> Since you have that hammer, have you PvP though? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I got the hammer um, a little bit, but uh, but PvP as a paladin is interesting because it's really tough to be effective as Red mm-hmm. um, when you also have a mage that you can play. Sure. So like every oh, time I've yes, gone in there and tried to do it, yeah. you know, uh, especially I have I haven't PvP'd much on either character lately. To be honest, I've done some dueling, which I which I. I'd like to just shout out to the people I've dueled, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's mm-hmm. just, it's, I really enjoy it. Sure. Um, but anyway, uh, so in terms of like doing uh, actual like battlegrounds and stuff, I haven't done much of that lately, but every time I would go out to do it uh, in the Paladin, I would either just start healing out of frustration because most um, most of the time you're, when you're in a, most of the time when I was, when I was joining a queue, right, mm-hmm. and just playing, there'd be a lack of healers anyway. So I'd be like, well, this sucks. I'm just going to heal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and red is just not the most effective PVP setup when you also could just say, screw it. I'm switching over to my mage, which I would just do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, like uh, I would, if, if I, if I didn't have a mage, then I would have, then I would play with it more. I'm sure. For sure. Yeah. Mage is a lot of fun. Uh, it, it seems like a lot of people that has mages, like it's they PVP and they, they just own. So 
that's the that's the deal about those mages, man. I don't know about owning for me. <laughs> yeah, but I certainly have fun sometimes. Like, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to to duel, like you know, to consistently one v one as a fire mage without ice block and mm-hmm. and stuff. And I don't have improved counter spell, so it's it's so, mm-hmm. like uh, I dueled Ulcrag's shaman uh, mm-hmm. quite a bit. Uh, and he was a really good sport about it, and um, and everything, and I, I got some really good practice in. But I couldn't beat him at sure, all. Sure, yeah. He's just he's, he's super good, and I just don't know <laughs> what to do against the shaman. Now, do you go on your way on respecting each time you do like interact with PvP stuff, or do you re- no, remain, um, remain? I'm just here? a uh, just a PvP PVE spec. Oh, okay. Um, I've no, I've never, I've never gone through and respect for PvP. Okay. Um, I know that's how you get an edge, and I. I, I, what I really miss are the days when Alliance could join the. There was a, a Discord server that you could join for, um, uh, for Alltrack Valley, mm-hmm. um, and you could, uh, you could get in a, a queue and you could join in with people from a bunch of different uh, servers, mm-hmm. um, and you could be all in a voice channel with like thirty-ish plus people, mm-hmm. and we would just destroy the horde consistently mm-hmm. and then they patched it so you couldn't do it anymore and that's kind of when i lost interest in pvp just because i don't know it was hard i kind of had a taste of the good life yeah sure and uh well at least you have the reputation now right you're exalted yeah no yeah thank god uh <laughs> so i uh i was really fortunate i i was able to get exalted on von hagen my paladin um right when av first came out because i really mm-hmm. boy did i really want that don julio's and the um the mace because the mace mm-hmm. was a big upgrade for me yes that um the unstoppable force right mm-hmm. um so uh, the when av first came out uh alliance just won they won like pretty much every game that mm-hmm. was the meta alliance would win or would get more honor um and then um Servius, my mage, I was able to play like I'd mentioned when the AV twenty four seven Discord was a thing. So I was able to rank up pretty easily and get my re- reputation there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the same thing with me with my um with my shaman and my rogue. I had to grind up my um A V reputation so that I could get those rings and uh healing um off the healing offhand. Yeah. yeah. That's that's insane. That's like BIS. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, to me. I use I use that on my healing set with my paladin, so that's another reason I'm glad I did it. But the offhands for a mage are so incredibly good. Yeah, yeah. Also, um when you uh switch to um uh, you know, you you carrying that hand of rag all the time, right? And then yeah, sometimes course. you switch weapons and you're like do you ever feel like you know, it's like I wish I could just wield this mace 24 7 without even switching any oh, well, that's, weapons like, at all. like i kind of said I, I i basically do that um uh already uh you know and the, the times where i do have to switch to healing i don't i don't try to grumble about it too much for sure yeah but you know that's that's one of the things that i i kind of am glad that they improve in like burning crusade and then later especially in wrath is uh, uh the paladin dps situation yeah, um, kind of looking looking ahead and looking forward to that. But I feel like, uh, like I said, I try to put forth the effort I can now. That's cool, man. Well, um, do you have anything else that you want to uh, cover, or do, do you want to do any shout out or anything like that? Or I feel like I, it, if I started shouting out people, I would forget somebody, and it would be. Uh, maybe too much maybe too much i don't <laughs> yeah. know um but i just to anybody that's listening to this i just really appreciate the friends that i've made and uh i'm just glad to be in the community that i'm that i'm in you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. definitely likewise here it's uh it's been a lot of fun um creating this um joining this environment you know just it, it's insane uh, i see i go into social media and i see um uh, updates for the retail you know shadowlands here and there and people are just don't they're not liking it and you know it was like well come try classic with us you know just 
Yeah. I think yeah. class is where it's at. I uh, I just I, I prepped everything. I got everything ready for Shadowlands. Mm-hmm. But well, by ready I mean I I transferred one of my characters over mm-hmm. from Scarlet Crusade actually to Emerald Dream, where some friends are going to play. For sure, yeah. And you know I set that up. They're like, well, I've got a level eighty Paladin and a level eighty Death Knight that I might play, but I. I think my heart's here. I think my heart's in classic. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and you know, and your friends, uh, did they play classic too, or are they are just playing in retail? No, they're friends from from here, from classic. Oh, okay. Just want to try that out and kind of go into it. Like, uh, like my good friend Ali Katz, cool. uh, she's made and uh, play a little bit with uh, uh, TC. Uh, TC, who, yes. TC, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How is he doing? He's doing well. So there's there was talks of uh, they're planning on playing a little bit on retail so cool, cool. join them at the... cool that'd be that'd be kind of cool i added out the server they're playing i'm not sure if that's public now <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah. i i probably have to ask um like my guild made some see if they're gonna play some any retail at all but i doubt most of them will uh maybe a few will but you know i just kind of want to interact with you know the people that i already uh you know made friends with and you know rated with um i'm, I'm sure that Whatever we whatever we played uh, in terms of any WoW expansion, I enjoyed the hell out of it because uh, that's the main point of my uh, playing a lot with uh, well, my guild. You know, we just uh, created friends and um, playing with them. And uh, if we if they ever decide to play retail, and you know, I probably ask if like you know if I could play with them or something. They probably won't mind, and I'd, I'd probably. I'd probably enjoy not not maybe not in the same way but in the same way where you know i get to hang out and um and so on you know yeah um but I, like i like i said i think my for me my heart's in classic and i'm kind of glad it is i uh I, I like what's going on here yeah me too and um yeah i forgot to ask you so are you guys ready for um no, Ice Crown or uh, what's that? Kel- uh, for Nax? Uh, Nax, Nax, yes. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope so. What What are your preparation right now? Like, are you guys uh, dealing with uh, reputation right now for Argent Dawn, or or what? What are you guys uh, uh, preparing preparing us for this? How are you guys? Well, I, personally, I'm I'm revered on both. I don't think I'm exalted on either, but I'm at least revered for Argent Dawn. Mm-hmm. I don't have to work super hard on that. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a well, that made me think of the warrior that I'm leveling up. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with him. He's like level 53 and he has no rep or anything. Oh wow! Um, Start doing but, AV uh, or something. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, but in terms of next preparation, I, I I don't really know. I'm not sure what to expect. I, I know it's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that. Um, a lot of people in both of the guilds that I raid with are certainly, I'm sure, more prepared than I am um, mm-hmm. in terms of like consumables and stuff like sure. uh, like flasks and lotuses and and, and, and uh, you know all the stuff that you need to make consumes with and stuff. I feel like I I manage to do okay on a weekly basis, but I don't know, I have a big stockpile or something, you know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, after that, um, what do you think? When do you think they can release TBC Classic? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Right. Uh, I, I feel like it's going to be after the new year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a while, but hopefully it gives us enough time to really take some, I, I, I hope that Nax goes well, frankly. Uh, and I hope that we have some good time to make some good progress in it. And I hope it's not like Nax and then, oh, immediately after it's TBC, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe, maybe a historical change if Nax doesn't go so well, who knows? Sure. Yeah. And there's probably a lot of talk already within guilds and, uh, for both uh, Horde and Alliance, what they want to do, you know, uh, in uh, the Burning Crusade Classic, which uh, it's probably gonna happen, and the, this or there's already like a announcement, right? I think. I don't, I yeah, it, I don't know if it's official, but um, I think I think it it certainly looks like that's gonna happen, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, in that, well, for this. Um, for this expansion, classic expansion, um, are you guys ready for that too? Like, do you have anything planned at all? Well, so what's going to be interesting is how, you know, because raid sizes go down from 40 to 25. That's going to be an interesting mm-hmm. uh, dynamic, right? So yes. I don't know. 
Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. To be honest, for sure. Yeah, nobody really knows. Just the, just the, just the, um, um, the the uh, optimistic of some people would say, okay, this is what I want. To, what I want to do on um, Burning Crusade, and everything is planned. But 100 percent sure that's going to change, because you never know what's going to happen in a few months or even the next day. You know. Maybe they might throw a curveball and say, like, actually, we're we're doing we're instead of TVC, we're doing Classic Plus, and we're coming out with new content oh, for sure. Classic. That that'd be kind of crazy. How would that'd they be a do crazy curveball? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. I I think Blizzard's you know Activision's too lazy. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but but you never know. Yeah. So who? I think what I'd want to do uh, when this retail comes out, I think if I was like the story, like it, I would pitch in like a story, right? Like if I was one of the the people that uh, creates the story, like I would be like, okay, uh, since everybody likes classic and retail's coming up, and after the retail Sylvanas, we're gonna um, implement, you know, some type of uh, time machine where Chromie has some, it has something to do with Chromie, and you, everybody goes back into the past to stop Sylvanas. That makes it like a classic expansion. That's I I pitched that in and I I wouldn't know what what they'd say or not but it's just probably just like a like in the back of my uh, mem uh, my in the back of my idea that's kind of been kind of I wish they did something like this you know yeah uh, you know I'm I'm kind of with you like I I think you know in some ways TVC would be cool because I kind of know what's coming and like I said for my paladin I think it'd be great because they start to get more abilities that make them more viable and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, like, I don't know if I've had my fill of classic classic yet, you know? Sure. Yeah, it's been only been a year. I mean, more than a year. But when they if they keep releasing all this new raids, you know, I don't I, have, I haven't even gotten like a, a lot of a gear from AQ40, you know, just uh, a few ones for the team that needed stuff. And uh, and, you know, we know for sure that. We're gonna be in there for a while to gear up our uh, characters, and we and we're still um, going through uh, BWL too. So, mm -hmm. and that's another thing, you know, we're not even geared up from BWL uh, from from uh, top to bo uh, from bottom to top, top to bottom. Right. So yeah, I'm. Go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, we're gonna be there for a while until everybody is geared up. Even so, even if everybody's geared up, let's say we have everybody geared up from tier two or BIS gear, uh, there's always gonna be like alt characters that wants to go in and you know and uh, wants to gear the alt characters or maybe some new players out there that we could bring. You know, we just I, I think it's a nonstop raid every week, nonstop. You know, we don't want to miss a chance at all. Be interesting too when Max comes out, like how we're gonna, how the schedules are gonna work. Because you know, do you do you keep doing AQ? Do you keep doing Black mm -hmm. and Lair? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, mm -hmm. well, I mean, let alone with with one character, you know, schedule, let alone with two. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty insane, man. <laughs> yeah. So I'm 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 just like like you kind of said earlier. I'm just kind of looking at it optimistically. I'm just hoping that everything kind of works out. Mm -hmm. Hoping I don't have to make hard decisions. You know. Sure, man. Yeah. Well, then, um, do you have, are you guys recruiting at all? Do you want to uh, plug that recruiting. in? Um, yeah. So, I uh, love them both. Uh, I think there's a group, uh, good group of people on both teams. Um, so, if you're interested in the Sons of Aerithor, uh you could talk to, well, just talk to me, really, for either one, I guess, and I could point you to the right people. Mm -hmm. Um uh, And same thing for Firewater, if uh, so many, anybody's interested in that. Um I I'm not really the recruitment guy for either guild, so I couldn't really tell you exactly what we're looking for. I didn't really have that preparation mm -hmm. uh, coming into this to tell you. Mm -hmm. But um, I just, mean, everybody's always recruiting. Right? Yeah, they could just uh, ask you and um, exactly yeah, point them to the right right direction. Uh, and you know, that's uh, that's kind of like why it's tough to recruit right now, right? Like that's mm -hmm. why um, strength and immortality kind of uh, we had to disband, right? Just because. There was there's no big pool of people, so sure, yeah. if somehow, you know, but if somebody's out there listening and wants to wants to check out either guild or whatever, just let me know. Cool, man. Um, anything else that you wanna um, say or 
I we... think it's really it's really neat that you have this podcast thing going on. You know, I've caught a couple of the episodes, and uh, it's you have a really cool thing going on. So I'm just I'm really happy to be here. I'm proud to be asked to contribute. Yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm always excited to talk to Alliance. I don't know what the hell's going on on you guys' side, <laughs> and <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's pretty amazing to me. It, knowing what I know, um, it's not even it's not even close to you know knowing ev- like anything about whatever you guys do there. And, you know, I guess that uh, good luck to you. And if we see each other on the battlefield, then, I don't know, we can wave or kill Probably each other. Probably toss you a salute, you know. So, salute, <laughs> whatever, you know, it's just part of the game. So, Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks for coming. Of course. Yeah, see you. Take care. <laughs>